Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin uh, Prescribed Fire and Smoke Briefing for Monday, November 18th, 2024. Precipitation for the past seven days is shown on the left. We've had a little bit of precip here and there, uh, the higher amounts over the central Idaho mountains, um, but elsewhere further south, a little bit on the drier side, especially over Nevada. The 30 days percent of normal is also sh not showing a great picture for some areas. Um, Nevada's been particularly dry this month, as well as portions of the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming. Um, so just a few pockets of normal precip out there in the last month. Snowfall for the past 24 hours, 72 hours shows some snow over northern Utah, northern Nevada, and up into much of Idaho and western Wyoming. Some of this is snow from over the weekend, and then some of it is snow that's um, been coming in uh, this morning. Uh, again, looking at snow totals, current snow depth is shown here on the left, and we're starting to build a little bit of a better base over the west central Idaho mountains with some lighter amounts over uh, eastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and northern Utah. Snowpack amounts or um, percent of normal is shown here on the right. So according to the snowpack, we're still looking pretty good in some areas over Nevada and western Idaho, but some lower values over eastern Idaho, Wyoming, and northern Utah. Okay, this morning satellite imagery is showing a trough moving into the Pacific Northwest. It's already um, sending some waves through Idaho and into northern Utah for, um, for some precipitation this morning. We'll continue to see that front move through the rest of the area today uh, before some dryness returns as a ridge builds back in. So again, trough, general trough over the Pacific Northwest, northern Rockies into northern half of the Great Basin. Uh, ventilation rates are good today as that trough moves through. Transport winds are um, elevated today over northern Nevada, southern Idaho, Wyoming, and on the lee side of the Wasatch Range here into eastern Utah. And mixing heights are also pretty good over Nevada, uh, Utah, and up into southern Idaho with the passage of the front today. Tomorrow we'll still see some, overnight into tomorrow we'll still see some of that um, storminess across the north, but beginning late in the day tomorrow, um, general ridging will, will start to build back into the basin and we'll begin to see our ventilation rates decreasing, um, but Tuesday still looks like a pretty good day. Transport winds lighten up on Tuesday um, over central and southern Nevada and western Utah. We still do have some gusty uh, lee side mountains or winds in northeast Nevada and then or northeast Utah, some winds in western Wyoming um, and a little bit here in northwest Nevada. Uh, mixing heights starting to decrease over Nevada and Idaho, um, still somewhat elevated however over eastern Utah. On Wednesday, uh, start to see that ridging, weak ridging building into Utah and Nevada, uh, but some moisture still moving into the central Idaho mountains ahead of the next trough here over the Pacific Northwest. Ventilation rates decreasing, uh, continuing to, to decrease on Wednesday. Transport winds are um, pick up over Idaho and far western Nevada on Wednesday ahead of that trough in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but the mixing heights are on the lower end over Utah and eastern Nevada with some higher values over western Idaho and western Nevada. The clearing index for Utah is shown here for the next three days. We've got some pretty high values today. Tomorrow the values remain elevated over the eastern half of the state but start to decrease across the west and by Wednesday those values are um, decreasing quite a bit. The three-day precip totals are shown here uh, for Utah and Nevada. We're expecting that precip today into the overnight hours and tomorrow morning uh, and Wyoming to some extent as well. Um, Idaho will see another shot of precip possibly beginning on Wednesday. Thursday will be another generally dry day over Utah and the southern two-thirds of Nevada with precip continuing over Idaho, mainly the western and central portions of the state, clipping north uh, west Nevada. Ventilation rates still remaining um, fairly poor area-wide. Friday more of the same, general dry conditions over Utah and Nevada with the trough still remaining in place just off the Pacific coast. Uh, precip continues to be uh, a possibility in Idaho on Friday. Ventilation rates remaining low. On Saturday, things start to change. The low begins to move inland. We'll see winds pick up across the Great Basin, improving the ventilation um, ahead of another cold front moving in uh, for the weekend. And by Sunday, we'll see some of that cooler air moving through the Great 
the southern portions of the Great Basin. Um, ventilation rates picking up over Utah, but still remaining on the lower side over Nevada and Utah, or in Nevada and Idaho. And we could see some precip moving through with this storm for the weekend as well. Precipitate precip accumulations are shown here for days four and five. This is just really th Thursday. Uh, and Friday, where we'll see the precipitation continuing over Idaho, but still dry over Nevada and Utah. A better chance for precip across the south comes in for the weekend, uh, Saturday into Sunday into um, Utah and Nevada. The extended forecast for November 25th through December 1st calls for um, below normal temperatures right on our northern border with warmer conditions further south and above normal chances for precipitation area-wide. This concludes today's briefing. Please check back on Wednesday for the latest updates.